This code sample includes two files. We have an HTML file with a form where we specify the method we want the request to be with and a PHP file that uses the Slim framework. Here, calling the map function on the Slim object, passing over as the first argument this string, we means that each request with a URI that match this pattern, meaning the URI must end with slash product or slash product slash uh, some text, this part is optional, then this is the function that will be invoked. Calling the via function on the object, the map function returns its reference, passing over this, these two strings means that we want this function to be invoked when there is a match for the URI, whether the request was using the HTTP GET or using the HTTP POST method. Now let's give it a try. So we have this HTML file. Uh, right now uh, the request will be sent using GET. We enter some number, press SUBMIT, and as you can see it worked. There is a match with uh, this uh, pattern, so this function is invoked, and over here, um, calling the get method on the object, its reference is assigned to the request property of our slim object. Passing over this string means that this var variable is now assigned with uh, the text that uh, very specific text that was sent over here as uh, the parameter ID. So in this case uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, boolean expression is false so this statement is not executed and we get this to be executed and the message back to the screen is this using the very same ID we sent. Now let's see what happens if we change the code and instead of get we place a post. Now let's uh, refresh. Now when I enter a number, press submit, as you can see we don't have a query string but still it works. As you can see, the request was sent using the HTTP method POST. The PHP we wrote over here, uh, $ID is assigned with NULL, so this statement is executed, and this is the way for getting the value of a specific parameter that was sent using POST. And everything works just as expected.